first and foremost i like to give all praises and all glory to the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim makakodash the one and see the apostles and the elders that do with our great stone peace and salutation to the akim or the pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth Shalom to you and sincere sisters out there as well. This has to be entitled Only with thine eyes. Right? Only with thine eyes shall thou see. And shall thou see the, the, the end result of the wicked. Only with thine eyes shall thou see the, the destruction that shall befall them. Right, that, that those plagues and then you know that final blow that shall come upon them you understand you know I'll make this a quick lesson I'll go to the book of Psalms chapter 91 start at verse 7 so a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Right? So, there are two parts of the story here. On one part, you know, the ones that put their trust in the Lord. It said a thousand will fall on one side, ten thousand on the next side, but it shall not come nigh, um, nigh them, and that no plague shall be upon them. Right? Because why? They have made, they have made the Lord the most high their habitation. But what, what, what about the wicked? The wicked ain't going to have this. But the righteous, the righteous shall see the reward of the wicked. Right? And what is going to be the reward of the wicked? Fire. Turmoil. Nuclear destruction. Utter desolation. An inferno. Right? A leak of fire is, is, is the reward of, of the wicked. Right? Is the reward of Esau. Is the reward of these other nations is the reward of, of, of the wicked of, of Israel right that is the judgment for, for evil they're gonna be purged right and they're gonna be purged through fire you understand that is how the Lord is gonna make this earth pure once more right the same way gold is refined in, in a furnace Right, the same way uh, one of the the customs of the um, natives, they would um, they would burn a, a, a area. Right, I can't remember how it was go, but basically, they would burn down everything, and wait for a certain period of time, and then you know they would begin to plant, and then the, it, something about it makes the um, made the land more fertile. And they will continue to do this process of burning and replanting until you know they, they, it couldn't work anymore and then they would move on to another spot and do the same thing right so fire cleanses fire remo removes impurity and that's what the lord bought to do he bought to remove all impurity from off the earth in the sun go to the book of psalms Right to the seven. To the seven was twenty. It said, "The wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs." Right? They say they shall be taken. It said, "They shall consume." Into smoke shall they consume away. Right? So that, that, that is the fate. That is the fate. They shall consume into smoke. Shall they consume away. Right? The wicked going to perish. You understand? The wicked is going to perish. The wicked is going to be destroyed. 
Alright, and the elect, the elect shall see it, the elect shall behold and witness that great destruction. Right, yeah, um, in the movie, knowing, right, you're gonna be coming down to the latter end of the movie, um, Nicholas Cage, he, his son, right, when his son and the, the girl was chosen, right, and the angels them transfigured into the celestial state. You, you, and you, you watch it. There were different chariots, right? Different chariots coming off, coming off, coming off of the youth, right? And it was basically standing still on on the firmament of the youth. You understand? And um, yeah, they were standing up on that on the firmament, and then you know you see the the, the fiery destruction. And all of them witnessed it. You understand? They witnessed the earth going up in flames. Alright, and that's exactly how we're going to be for the elect, right? They're going to be in the chariots. They're going to be afar off. And they're going to see. They're going to see it. And they, they ain't going to see some blurry picture. They're going to they're gonna see. Right? And not just when in the in the chariots, but when before they even delivered, right? They're gonna see the farming, they're gonna see people, the state of people that they once called family, that they once called friend, that they once called classmate or co-worker or, or acquaintance, right? They're gonna see they're gonna see the, the circumstances. They're gonna see the state of the of these jigs, right? They're going to see the death that's going to befall some of them. The gruesome end that they're going to meet. Right? And they're going to be, they're going to be afar off in a safe, in a safe place witnessing all these things. Right? Revelation 14 verse 10 I start at 9 It say And the third angel followed them Saying with a loud voice If any man worship the beast and his image And receive his mark in his forehead Or in his hand The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of, of power Which is poured out without mixture Into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right? <sighs> Salah. So all those that worship the beast, right? Worship the system, worship the image, receive the MOTB. They're gonna drink of the of the wine of wrath, which is poured out without mixture. You understand? So the Lord ain't gonna it ain't gonna be um who is the word? Um He ain't gonna Oh god the word um The Lord ain't gonna dilute this destruction. You understand? He ain't gonna add water to the mixture to lessen the concentration there's gonna be a, a full blast a pain in the sun it said they're gonna be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb right so it, 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 we're gonna wit well, the elect gonna witness it yeah how the elect right all this destruction gonna be taking place in the presence of 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 Yahweh Shai and the elect, they're gonna see the calamity. They're gonna see the downfall of this kingdom, right? They're gonna see what they've been waiting for, for how way for how long, All right? They're gonna see it come to pass. This is Sirach twenty three. Verse 18, it says, A man that breaketh wedlock, saying, Thus in his heart, Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High 
will not remember my sins. Such a man only feared the eyes of men, and knew it not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. He knew all things ere ever they were created, so also after they were perfected he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Right? So you see, it say, you see it say he will be punished in the streets of the city. So this man that was committing adultery, right? And he thinking that the walls hiding him and that nobody could see him. He's going to be punished in public for all to see, right? He's going to be punished in the streets for all the people to see. Where he dies, will die the situation here. The wicked going to be punished for all to see. And we read what? We read where it say in the presence of, of the angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So in the presence of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, in the presence of the angels, in the presence of the elect, right? They're going to witness Esau. They're going to witness these other nations. They're going to witness these niggas burning up, being consumed by flames. You understand? They're going to they're gonna witness it. It's saying when... Where he suspected not he shall be taken, right? When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall befall them, right? Like a thief in the night. So that's how we're going to come against these people, all right? And they're going to be pay a gruesome punishment, opening it publicly, you understand, for all to see, all right? So understand that, hey, the elect, right? The chosen, only with their eyes, right? They shall look afar and see Babylon burning. They shall see the nukes hitting their targets, right? They shall see how the people will wail and cry and, and beg. Alright? They're going to witness it. You know, but that who hope is the most edifying. All praise and all glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Shalom.